Je suis désolé, je vais parler en anglais, c'est une maladie qui affecte ceux d'entre nous qui vivent à l'étranger. On a tellement d'habitude de parler en anglais qu'on ne sait plus parler ça dans la terre. Donc, je vais switch over to English, because I suffer from this disease of expats that uh, the technical vocabulary uh, is accessible only in English. Broken English is the language, is the English language. And, uh, is 
characterized by the, the non-use of the interest. Essentially, you have money in the bank and it gives you 5% or 10%. Uh, if you invest it, Madoff and pyramid schemes don't live off the interest, they live off the capital, they eat up the capital and they need always new capital to come in to pay off the, the old capital. And it ends the, the scheme when everybody has been fooled and nobody is willing to come into the picture. And we realize now that, say, in England, in France, when the capital of fish on our coast, along our coast is gone, then we go elsewhere to catch the fish. We never depended on the growth rate of the population, on the interest of the population. We always expanded and this expansion began with <coughs> began with the industrialization of fisheries. Because before fisheries could only tap the interest. Uh, the fish stocks, the most of fish stocks were generally uh, fairly deep and only the, that part of the stock was exploited, which made itself available in surface waters. So that was the interest. We were capable, because of industrial fishing, of going after the capital. And so we needed always an infusion of fresh capital, just like Madoff. And it came from elsewhere. So the expansion, which is the name of a magazine, the expansion, the expansion is actually a sign of non-sustainability. Another example you can take is Spain was fishing only in, if you like, in Spanish and, uh, uh, waters or in waters in the North Atlantic, and that's now the catch of Spain. Now it comes from the Indian Ocean and, uh, and uh, the, the Pacific as a whole. Now, you see that uh, of Japan you get the uh, you don't get Spain, but you get to Japan. And actually the Japanese picture is inverted. It started around Japan and then it fills up the world. And you make, if you do the, these uh, images with uh, three or four, five countries, big fishing countries, you get the world covered. In other words, if you take India or Brazil, they do not participate in this international robbery. Uh, the, the only a few countries participate in this and supply the market this way, but it's not sustainable. It's not sustainable because the other markets are also going to do that and they're going to fight for resources. So, that is uh, the matter of <coughs> the matter of the market. Another important aspect of the expansion was not only geography but in depth. This is actually the first paper that was published formally about the increase in depth of fisheries and that took account only of the increase in between species, that is species were caught that, uh, that, uh, that occur in greater depth. The, we are now finding that the increase is about four times bigger if we take account of single species in that uh, relationship. In other words, when you catch cod, you catch it much deeper than before. In other words, this atomic expansion is in reality much stronger. And, and the catch density, you can see, is, is obtained at deeper and deeper depth. Now, those of you who have studied uh, some oceanography will know that at very great depth, there is no fish. So, you cannot continue this expansion 